In this video, I'm going to show you how to create realistic shadows while compositing in Photoshop. The difficult part while creating shadows is getting the right shape and perspective of the shadows. And this can become really difficult with complex objects and subjects. PS Desire is all about making complex things easier. So, we're going to use Photoshop's 3D features for that. To get started, first of all, I'm going to duplicate the model cutout layer and rename it Shadow. Then I'm going into 3D, New 3D Extrusion, from the selected layer. This is going to make that layer into a 3D model. Notice that, when I click and drag on the far left icon, the Orbit 3D camera icon, I can orbit around this 3D layer. And then, the 3D model has these icons that we could use to rotate, move, or scale the 3D object. I'm going to undo that, just so we can get back the default camera. We need to cast a shadow onto the ground plane. And in order to do that, we need to make sure that we have the right perspective in the scene. Make sure that you match the horizon line of your 3D scene to the horizon line of your background. We don't need the model to be extruded that far. Then click on this icon, which is the mesh, and then I can change the extrusion depth so that it's not so thick. There's an invisible option on the properties panel. You can tick it and it should get rid of your model and leave a shadow. Then I can click on the infinite light, which controls the light of the scene, and I can use this overlay, and click and drag on it to adjust the lighting. When I adjust the lighting, watch what happens to the shadow on the ground plane. See, how the shadow is interacting with the ground plane and the background. Here I'm trying to match shadow to the light directly where it is coming from. So, I'm going to click on the shadow slider, and I can increase the softness. The one thing that you will notice is that the shadow will be noisy. That's because it has not been rendered. So, take the lasso tool and make a selection around your shadow. And then click on the render button. This may take a while, depending on the speed of your computer. And when you finish the render, you can deselect the selection. Since I'm happy with this shadow, I'm just going back into the Layers panel. In the final step, I just want to add a shadow where the toe and ground are touching. Add a new blank layer and place it below the model cutout layer. And rename it, Toe Shadow. Now take a soft black brush. Roughly paint under the shoe where it touches the ground. Then apply Gaussian Blur to soften the edges. You can press Ctrl T or Command T on the Mac for Transform. And I can click and drag that around to resize and place the shadow so that it matches the scene. If you want, lower the opacity of the shadow layers. But I liked it, so I kept it as it is. Here is the before and after. Thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to click on that subscribe and notification buttons. And I will talk to you again in the next tutorial. Take care.